So what else is there to functions? Well, how about default arguments? We have functions that take arguments, like this one, our getWinner function. And right now this function will produce unwanted results if we don't pass values to all arguments. Now let's actually give this a try. Let's say if the user doesn't pick rock, paper, scissors because uh, he entered something wrong, anything like that, well, then we don't want to return this default user choice here. Instead, we just return here, which means we stop function execution. We won't reach this line, but we therefore basically return undefined. We return nothing, and that will be treated as undefined in the place where we call this function and try to work with the returned value. So we return nothing here if the user didn't choose anything. Now, of course, I still want to have that default user choice and we could have left the code as it is, but to also show you that feature of default arguments, I'll go with this route now. So nothing is returned here and that means that down there in player choice, this might be undefined, right? Because maybe this doesn't return anything. So right now, if I save that and I reload and I start a new game and I click uh, enter something, click okay, this is not true as we know, instead undefined is returned and indeed here we see you picked undefined and the computer picked paper, and since this leads to our else case here, we lost. So we, of course, pass undefined to get winner because our player choice is undefined here. Now let's alter this code a little bit as well. Let's add a if statement and say if player choice, if it's set, then I want to derive the winner like this. So I'll move that code into this if block. And therefore, actually, I'll set, uh, I'll create my winner variable outside of that and just assign a value to it here because of that block scoping so that the winner variable is not just available in here but also outside of the if block. And now here in the else case, so if player choice is not set, if it is undefined, I'll set winner equal to get winner and I only call this with computer choice. So I don't forward player choice because this is undefined. We know it's not useful to that function anyways. Now, the first interesting thing which will happen here, and by the way, that's totally independent of whether you're using arrow functions, you're using function expressions with the function keyword or function declarations. This will always work like I show it to you now. So the first interesting thing is actually that I reload here and I start a game, enter something invalid, click OK, and we still get that same message as before. So the interesting thing is that we don't get an error. In a lot of other programming languages, you would get an error because what we're doing here is we're calling a function, get winner, which actually expects two arguments, two parameters, and we're only passing one. Now, JavaScript, as you learned already, is a quite forgiving language. Other languages are not as forgiving and there you would get an error because in the end, what you're doing is you're calling a function in an incorrect way. So JavaScript forgives this mistake, but it then uses undefined as a value for the missing argument, which makes sense, it is not defined, right? Now that's where default arguments come into play. You assign a default value by adding an equal sign here and then your default value. Like in my case here, default user choice, this constant which in the end points at rock here. So that is something we can do here. This is how we can set a default value. Now with that, we just have to alter the code down there a little bit. Player choice, of course, still be, would be undefined because we never changed the value that's stored in there deliberately because I want to show you that other approach. So here we can add a short ternary expression, check if player choice is truthy. If it is, use player choice. Otherwise, use the default user choice. Or as you learned, if that's what you want to do, you essentially can use the OR operator, and if that is a truthy value, it will keep that. If it's not, it will return this. So now we can save that, reload, enter something incorrect here, and see rock was picked. So this works, and now just to again clarify this, obviously the previous approach of just returning a default value up there in get player choice was shorter. It is probably the approach you would use normally. But this is a nice way for me to show you default arguments, which come in handy in many places where you have a function that can be called in one way or another. And then having these default arguments can be really, really nice. Now let's dive a bit deeper into default arguments and uh, what you can do with them. For one, let's see what happens if I actually would pass in my undefined value here. So I'm forwarding player choice here. I'm considering 
the choice the player made, which will be undefined. And therefore, please keep in mind that what we're going to output down there will not be what we pass in here because we pass in undefined here. And therefore, hopefully we take our default argument here at the bottom, I definitely output that we took our default argument, even though we don't yet know how this will behave here. But to find out how our function behaves, we can use the developer tools. Let's go into our browser, reload, sources, and then there to app.js. And in app.js, let's simply uh, place a little marker inside of the get winner function. And now click that button here, enter some garbage, and now this will pause and if you now hover over P choice, you see rock was used here. So this has a value of rock, even though player choice, which we're passing in will be undefined. As you can see, if I zoom out a little bit here so that this is easier to read, as you will be able to see, if I scroll down a little bit here and I place another breakpoint here, right before we alert the winner message, if we resume, now we can get insights into the variables defined here. And indeed you see the player choice is undefined, right? That's what's happening here, it's undefined. And still, winner did actually use rock as a default. So if you pass, and that's the takeaway, if you pass undefined, and I'll clear these breakpoints, if you pass undefined here as an argument where you have a default argument, then the default argument will be taken, but only for undefined other falsy values will not have that effect. So if you would pass a falsy value like null or an empty string or a zero here, that value would be kept. And especially the zero shows why that's the case. If you pass in zero, well, you certainly will have some functions where this is a normal value. Let's say you have some add function where you wanna add two numbers. Maybe you wanna add zero, might not make the most sense, but you certainly don't wanna take some default value in that case. You don't want to override the user's wish of adding a zero. So that's why other falsy values are not replaced with the default argument. Undefined is replaced, however. So passing undefined or omitting the value altogether has the same effect and the default value comes in. Now in addition, you also can define arguments, parameters with default values before you have arguments which don't have a default. So if we add C choice here after this, this would be valid. In some other programming languages, this is not allowed. There your parameters with default values always have to be the last ones in the list of parameters. Simply for the reason that these here can be populated with default values, this here can't. So now for example, if we call get winner with only one argument here, like we do in this case, this value here will actually be passed in as a value for P choice. Even though that has a default value, the order of how arguments are getting their values is not changed. And here we pass exactly one argument, and this is at position one of our argument list, obviously, since it's the only one. Therefore, the first parameter here will receive it. And it doesn't matter that this parameter would have a default value. JavaScript won't look for other parameters without default values and try to assign your value to those. That would be a, a pretty bad behavior because it would mean that JavaScript tries to be smarter than you are, you the developer, and that can lead to a lot of unintended behaviors in your code. So therefore JavaScript doesn't do that and hence you can have default arguments before other arguments, but that means that if you only pass one argument here, this one argument is stored in this parameter here, so you get that parameter here and this will simply be undefined. So that's just something to be aware of. Therefore, in most cases, you automatically have a setup where your default arguments come last because then you typically have functions where the first arguments always need to be defined and then the last arguments can maybe be omitted and therefore you have your default arguments there. Another interesting feature, when assigning a default value, you can even use parameters that came before that parameter. So if this default value should take this parameter into account, you can do so. So you can definitely add this here, let's say in a ternary expression where you check if this is equal to rock and in this case you don't use the default user choice which would be rock but you use uh, paper, something like that. This would be valid code. Of course this is cheat mode now, this means that whenever the computer uses rock we automatically win. But it's just here to demonstrate what you can do. You can refer to other parameters in your default 
arguments. Just make sure that the arguments you are referring to came before this parameter where you assign a default argument. So that's it for default arguments. I'll remove this cheat mode here and just make sure we set this default user choice. So if we now reload and enter some garbage here, rock is chosen for us. We had a draw because the computer also picked rock. Now the computer picked scissors, so we won. So that all works. Of course, if we enter a valid value, just to test this as well, then is this taken into account? Because then we call the function differently. Then we call it like this. And therefore, this is it for default values, a handy feature which allows you to write more flexible functions.